is a utility knife, or you might also call it a razor blade knife. The first thing to know about is you never want to leave it laying around when you're not using it because somebody could get cut, obviously. This is good for cutting um, thin, fairly thin materials and soft materials like foam board, cardboard, or even polystyrene foam. The first important thing when you, before you start to cut, you need to cover your work surface with um, many layers of cardboard or a, like a little thin piece of scrap wood, unless you have a you know, cruddy workbench, but if you're cutting on your kitchen table or something, you want to make sure you don't wreck the furniture. Next thing to do is to stand up. You don't want to be sitting down when you're cutting, or you don't want to be cutting up in the air. We always cut down against the table, against a work surface, and if you stand up, you can, you'll avoid dragging the razor blade across your leg, which you wouldn't want to do. So this is how you get started to cut. You hold the razor blade knife like this, not like an X-Acto knife, and don't hold it like you're digging or anything like that. You want to use your finger on the front of it like this, and you're going to press against your work surface and pull towards you. Always make sure you're paying attention, you're not off talking to friends or talking to somebody else, and always make sure that your fingers or thumb is out of the line, you know, not in the line of cutting, so you want to have your fingers off to the side. Usually the first time you just like try to score the top, you follow the line, push down gently, not too hard, you don't want to push hard at all, and usually the first time it doesn't even go through all the way, it takes usually a couple cuts to, you know, another cut to finish it where you push down against your work surface a little a little hotter. Um, this is the